Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will going to talk about the months name function. So months name function is very helpful whenever you need a group of month based on the group in which the date is falling. So for example many times we see the date of the groups in the form of quarters that Jan, Feb, March or after that you have Q2, Q3, Q4. So you, if you have any such requirement where you need to show the group of month, then you need to use the month's name function. So what I meant by that is, let's see the simple example, which is based on the invoice date. So let's say on these dates, we have received the invoice and we want to show that in which calendar quarter that the invoice has been received, all right. Let's say if you want to create a table like that. So what I can do is um, I will say calendar underscore quarter, something like that. And uh, I'm just creating a new table, by the way. Load star, comma. So star will going to take all the fields, the invoice ID and the invoice date. Okay. And uh, then I will specify months name function. And months name will going to uh, ask us uh, how many months we want to combine so three Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June things like that and then the date INV date INV date yeah we'll give it as calendar underscore quarters so I've specified the quarter as a table over here I'm specifying quarters just to keep two things different or we can say CLD underscore quarter, something like that, whatever you want, or any other business specific name that you have in mind based on the scenario you are handling. And then we will say resident um, temp table because from this table, we are getting these two fields. So temp table, that is it. And now since the all the fields are here from temp table, we don't need temp table. So drop table table and that is it hit the save button and hit load all right close it come to analysis section and over here we'll pick a table for a simple presentation at the dimension which is first invoice date the original date and then their respective calendar quarters so i will come to add columns and add a dimension which is calendar quarter so Jan to March 2019, because this is 5th of Feb, 31st of March, which is Jan to March 2019, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, whenever you need uh, the, well, whenever you are in a situation when you need an output like this, month's name will going to help you. And I have taken a period of three months. You can even take two months or four months. Let's say two months, for example, save load the data, click close, come to analysis, Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, September, October, November, December, all of that is a two month period. So now probably you have got the idea what uh, is basically required uh, based on the situation you have in hand. Now one more thing is uh, based on the current date, let's say I just specified three as a calendar quarter and based on the date i want the previous quarter information so what i can do is specify minus one over here or the next quarter then positive one so i'll hit save and then load the data click close come to analysis now what you have is the previous quarter october to december 2018 earlier it was jan to march 2019 but now it's a previous quarter so if that is what your requirement is going back to one quarter, then you specify the minus one. All right, moving ahead. If you are working with the fiscal quarters, then in that case, after minus one, you have the option for one more parameter, which is ranging from two to 12, two indicates fab. So if your fiscal quarter is starting from fab, then you will say two, or if it is starting from March, you will say three but in that case just i am changing it to zero just for the sake of simplicity all right so we have a three months period 
and uh, we are looking at the current date we are not going back and forth like minus one or plus one minus one will indicate going back to three months or last quarter and my let's say the fiscal quarter is starting from the march so i've specified three now let's hit the save and load the button and click on the load button and come to analysis now if you will see uh the change so for example 31st of march is going between march april may or may is march to may again may is between march to may and so on and so forth so the last parameter the third the fourth parameter is the is for the fiscal quarters or the fiscal calendars where it will start from 2 2 will indicate february and 12 will indicate december so that's how you can modify the value and get the desired output so that's pretty much it i wanted to cover in the months name function again very very useful when it comes to formatting it for the front end presentation and uh, put it uh, put your values in a perspective which end user can see so that's about it and I, now i'll meet you meet you in the new video with the new topic